Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. And uh, yeah, this is uh, my next episode. Uh, today I'm uh, riding from uh, Grafreinet up to uh, Oudshoorn. And uh, yeah, it's also a very beautiful route through the little Karoo. This video starts in uh, the Rust, which is actually not too far away from Oudshoorn already. Uh, it's uh, actually because it was so windy between uh, Willowmore and Aberdeen and uh, also on the way to Klaarstroom it was incredibly windy. So I was uh, going quite slowly and I was uh, trying to concentrate on the road, not uh, too much on uh, filming. I uh, also took a little stop here in uh, the rest. So a few little shops here, and nice restaurants. I see a few other bikers here as well. I see something strange up there. Let's see, oh, uh, no speeding. Okay. There is a small town in the Western Cape, also known as the Gateway to the Little Karoo. Its name literally means uh, the rest in Dutch, to, uh, which uh, refers to the original purpose of uh, being a resting place for uh, travelers uh, on the route uh, through the Swartberg Mountains between uh, Oudsoer and, and uh, Beaufort Ways. While I stopped in the rest, I phoned my friend Alex and uh, told him I'm always there, should be there in about half an hour. But then uh, on the way, I don't know, somehow my uh, train fell down. Yeah, and then I had to stop and uh, do a little bit of uh, adjustment and maintenance. Uh, yeah, and then I could uh, slowly, slowly continue on my way. Fortunately, my friend Alex was uh, waiting for me in uh, Outsour and uh, so when I arrived, uh, yeah, we could uh, go for something to drink. Oh yeah, and my glove started disintegrating. <laughs> I just followed Alex at a slow, steady pace uh, through the town, yeah, enjoying the view. Otsuaren is uh, very much famous in South Africa for the car, car, and car. It's actually uh, stands for the little Karoo. National Arts Festival, which is uh, normally here around uh, March or so. Yeah, at this time of the year, the whole town will just fill up completely for a whole week. And there will be stalls around and stages and, uh, and just uh, everything to do with art. And uh, wherever anybody can find a little spot to put up a tent, they will be staying as well for the week. And, uh, yeah, it's just a big party for a whole week long. Otsuaren is also very famous for uh, caves, the Kango Caves. Uh, they are about 30 kilometers just outside of the town in the Swartberg Mountains. And these caves have some holes which are uh, as big as a football field. And 
a very popular tourist attraction to the town. Many people like to come and visit the Outsuer and go and see the Kango Caves. Here on the left is Kleinplas, my favorite campsite in Outsuren. When it comes to ostriches, Outsuren is definitely the ostrich capital of the world. Since around the 1750s, uh, some farmers started settling here in the area and they uh, started uh, cultivating uh, wheat and tobacco and also wine and barley and eventually replaced it with lucerne for ostrich feed. Yeah. Over, uh, later years, uh, ostriches also started uh, being more uh, popularly used for uh, the leather, which is actually supposed to be the second strongest leather in the world after uh, kangaroo leather. But uh, also, uh, ostrich meat has become quite a delicacy all around the world. Also, as far as you know, uh, ostrich eggs are uh, very tasty and uh, nutritious. You get about uh, 24 chicken eggs out of one ostrich egg. So uh, it can also feed uh, quite a big family with one ostrich egg. And of course the shell of the ostrich eggs are very strong and durable. So, uh, many people uh, paint on the ostrich egg shells and uh, yeah, make uh, sell them as uh, art. Then uh, of course uh, there's also many of the old uh, ostrich farms that are uh, not so commercial anymore. But uh, nowadays, for all the tourists who come through the town, there are also uh, shows on uh, yeah, how uh, ostrich farms actually work to show for uh, tourists. Uh. Yeah, Otsuren is also just uh, at the beginning of the longest wine route of the world, uh, the Route 62. Uh, it uh, goes all the way up to uh, Wooster. Just on the right here, there is Kango Ostrich Show Farm. And down there to the left is a very beautiful uh, Dutch Reformed Church of uh, Skuman's Hook. That night, me and my friend had some good times to catch up, and uh, we also enjoyed a very lovely ostrich bride. And after a very quiet night sleeping, I got up quite early, got quickly ready to get going. I uh, got all my things packed and uh, you know, loaded into the Land Rover so we could uh, go down the mountain again. Now this Land Rover is very old, it's from the 1970s or so. And so also to save gas, uh, we, we just went uh, freeing down the mountain all the way. That's it, uh, very nice ride down the mountain. As you can see, it's a very beautiful area here with uh, indigenous aloes and uh, cacti. 
over here it was time to get uh, settling up get ready to take the Robinson's pass over to uh, Hartenbos Muscle Bay on my way to Still Bay <laughs> Clever. Uh, by the time I left the boat tour and it was scorching hot, so I even uh, put my t shirt under the tap to be completely wet as I started riding. Uh, but just as I started uh, leaving out tour and could see all these uh, thick clouds, and all of a sudden it was not so hot anymore, and uh, also riding at around uh, 80 to 100 kilometers an hour, with a lot of uh, wind blowing through your uh, wet t shirt. And uh, yeah, it was actually starting to become quite chilly on the way. Eventually I had to stop and uh, I even uh, put on my uh, raincoat. I could see there was some uh, rain building up in the pass. Thank you very much for watching my video again. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be making some more videos as I get time. Uh, please uh, keep an eye out for my channel to see when I uh, upload some more videos. Until next time.